In this video I want to share with you my view on writing tests in web development. And actually I am writing tests already 10 years, so I have some experience in them, and actually you don't need them for all kinds of projects. And the first question here, what we should test at all? And actually the popular opinion here is that we need to write everything in TDD, which means test driven development, which means you are writing first test, it is red, then you are writing your code, you check test again, it is green and you are good to go, which actually means you are writing first test and then your code. And the main problem with this approach is that everybody is saying, ok, this approach is good, but nobody is doing it. And actually in last 10 years I saw like one or two companies which were doing TDD. All other companies are not writing tests at all or writing really limited amount of tests. Which actually means either TDD is not working or people don't know how to do it right. And actually I think that TDD is not the best approach. When you start to write something new, you normally don't know 100% how you will implement it. And if you are doing something really difficult, you can't start with tests, because you need to do a lot of evaluation, check different things, and you will rewrite a lot of code when you just started. Which actually means you wrote a lot of tests, then you wrote some code, then you throw this code away, and you throw this test also away. Which means you just doubled your time of development but you don't need this test because your code is really raw. But actually it doesn't mean that you should not write tests. And actually a lot of companies are not writing tests at all and they simply do features and fix bugs. What does it mean? Until certain specific point you can just implement features and fix bugs. But at some point your code base is too big, you have a lot of developers, people don't know how things are working and people constantly break something while implementing a change in stuff. And this is completely normal. The problem is that I saw a lot of companies where people were implementing features only 20% of their time and 80% of their time the whole team was just fixing bugs. Which means it doesn't matter how good you are as a developer, starting from some point you can't really change things without breaking other things. This is why you need to start testing your code. The next question is will you deliver faster if you are doing tests? And the obvious answer here is no, you won't. And this is exactly like with some static typing, like for example TypeScript. You won't write code faster, you will spend more time with tests or with static type language. So yes, you will spend more time to implement your feature, but you need to calculate it in the long run. If you are supporting your project really long time, you will spend lots of time on bugs and actually you can spend less time just by writing tests. So in the long run you always need tests, but if you are doing projects which will be finished in two weeks or maybe in a month, then you don't need to write tests at all, you will double your time of implementation and actually you won't spend that much time on fixing bugs. The next question is what tests we need to write at all. And I will start with unit tests. What are unit tests? This is the test for exactly our code. So we are testing some class or component in complete isolation. We isolate all dependencies of it and we simply check function by function and all our use cases. This is really nice approach because even if you don't understand code after writing tests, you will understand it 100% and you can always check the output of your functions and be sure that you didn't break anything. So here are several benefits of unit tests. First of all, it is easy to refactor, you are testing in complete isolation, it improves your code and it is really easy to test. The second variant of tests that I highly recommend is end-to-end -end testing. What does it mean? We want to test the behavior of our project. For example, user clicked on the button and we need to open the model. The main problem is that it's not easy, but a lot of people are starting with end-to-end -end testing. Just because it sounds that it is easier. Because we simply take the project and we run it and then we write some tests on this project. We don't need to open our code at all, we simply work with DOM elements inside the page, we check what elements are present, we check what is happening when we are clicking on the button and so on. But actually it is much more difficult, because there are a lot of open questions here. Where do we test it at all? Are we doing it on the local machine? Are we doing it on staging or production environment? The main problem is that it is just the website which is running somewhere, which means we change the information on this website, we save data to our database and it is polluted. Which actually means we need at some point to clean our database, we need to do it in some specific environment, we need to set up all this stuff together and it is even more difficult when we are doing it with CI. 
So if you want to do end-to-end -end testing, it's not that easy. It requires time to set up your environment correctly. And actually, if you want just to know what is the most popular library for end-to-end -end testing in JavaScript world, it is for sure Cypress. It is the most easy and featureful library that I saw. The next important question is test coverage. And actually a lot of people think that you need to write your test with 100% coverage. And if you have less than 100%, then the project is completely broken. And actually it's not true at all. This is just a tool to show you how much code is covered. So it makes sense to reach 100% coverage only if you want to show this number to your client. If you want to do it correctly, you will use this test coverage tool just to help you by writing tests. Because actually you can test the different cases and see what code is not covered yet in your class that you are doing now. So testing is just a tool that will help you in a long lasting or complex projects. But you don't need tests everywhere. If your project is small or is not lasting that long, it doesn't make any sense to spend your time on testing. But obviously, if you want to be a good developer, you need to know what to test, how to test it and how to do it in the framework that you are using. Also, if you are interested how you can spot a bad company or team when you are looking for the new job, don't forget to check this video also.